Hello and welcome to Doc Clay's Chemistry Lessons. Today we're going to be looking at organic analysis and we're going to be looking at high resolution mass spectroscopy. So by the end of this session you should be able to use precise atomic masses and the precise molecular mass to determine the molecular formula, formula of a compound. Mass spectroscopy then we've looked at before and it's where we measure the mass to charge ratio of either atoms or molecules in a spectrometer. These usually give single integer values. For example, for hydrogen, it would come out as 1. Or for oxygen, it comes out as 16. Or for an oxygen plus ion and a hydrogen plus ion, they come out as 1 and 16. High resolution mass spectroscopy, however, comes out with a more precise value for each of the atomic masses. So the precision goes down to four decimal places in this example, and you can see that hydrogen is actually ever so slightly greater than one. Carbon really is 12, and well, that's our reference, which is why that's 12. Oxygen is just under 16, Nitrogen just over 14. Chlorine 35 is just under 35. And chlorine 37 just under 37 there. So why is that helpful? Well, let's look at this example. I've got three different molecular formulas. C2H4O2. C3H8O and CH4N2O. Now if you work out the molecular mass of each of these, well we'd be able to pick them up in a mass spectrometer if they just lost the one electron they would have a value of 60 this would have a molecular mass of 60 and the final one would have a molecular mass of 60 so these would be indistinguishable in our normal mass spectrometer. However, if we decide to use a high resolution mass spectrometer, these values actually become ever so slightly different. That's because they're made up of different atoms and each of these different atoms that we see up here will have a different mass. So to work them out, well, you just simply add them together. So this would be two lots of 12, four lots of the one which is just above one here for the hydrogen, and two lots of the oxygen which is just below 16. Same for the second one and same for the third one. And our result, as we look here in just a moment at the high resolution mass spectroscopy, is three slightly different values. Here then what we see we have an MR of 60.021112, an MR of 60.05751, and an MR of 60.03235. This gives us a way of distinguishing between individual molecules. If we're asked to work it out on an exam, for example, perhaps you might have something like propane, C3H8 and carbon dioxide. Well, both of these would have the same MZ of 44 in a normal mass spectrometer. But we can see here they would have slightly different values. We'd work them out by doing 3 times 12.000 plus 8 times. 1.0078 well our carbon dioxide would be 2 times 12.0000 plus sorry that should be 1 because we've got 1 carbon plus 2 times the number which is just below 16 for option 15.9949 
both of these and give two values, one being slightly above 44. I'll let you work that out yourself. With this one being ever so slightly less than 44 and allowing us to distinguish between the two. That's pretty much all there is to know about high resolution mass spectroscopy. And we'll just check what we've been able to do this lesson. So we've seen there the precision in the atomic masses. You should now be able to use precise atomic masses and the precise molecular mass to determine the molecular formula of a compound. Bye for now.